Yeah. Hello everyone, I would like to thank you all for being here today. Uh, my name is Mustafa Salim and I have a master's degree in English literature. Today I will going to give a brief summary about Macbeth. The, our topic is the good and evil in Macbeth. So, I will start by giving a summary of the play, Macbeth the play. Macbeth the story begins with the Scottish general Macbeth and his friend Panku after returning from the battle. Uh, they meet the three witches. These three witches tell them about their prophecies. The first prophecy tell, tell Macbeth that he will become thin of Cawdor, and for the second prophecy to, that he will become king of Scotland, and for the third prophecy to his friends Banco, he will not become a king, but his friends, they will, but his children, sorry, he will become a king. So, Macbeth sent a letter to his wife to tell her about the prophecies. Uh, Lady Macbeth is an ambitious woman. She knows that the king is coming to their house to give the new title to Macbeth. So that she, she tells Macbeth uh, after that the, the, the first prophecy is to come true, you should have the chance to take to kill the king and the, make the, the second prophecy come true. Uh, Macbeth uh, killed the king, uh, killed the king with the help of his wife and start to kill anyone will stand in his way. So I will connect now psychoanalysis theory with Macbeth play. So, a system of psychological theory and therapy which is aimed to treat mental disorder by investigating the interaction of conscious and unconscious elements in the mind, by bringing repressed fears, conflict into the conscious mind by techniques such as dream interpretation and free association. Freud 1915 described the conscious mind which is consists of all the mental process of which we are aware and this is seen as the tip of the iceberg. According to Freud, uh, the unconscious mind is the primary sources of the human behavior. It's like an iceberg, the most important part is the part that people cannot see. So I will apply psychoanalysis to Macbeth. So as we see now in this picture, Lady Macbeth, she whispering to her husband, Macbeth, and she attempt to convince him to kill the king. So, for the eight, which is the willing to kill his beloved leader and gain ultimate power. This is rep represent the evil side of our mind, which is Macbeth was following his evil side and doing evil things and the criminal things. So, and for the, about the ego, the, his ego tells him that he should not kill Duncan because he is a guest in, ha, in his home. So, this is represent the balance between the ed and super ego, which is take, talking about reality and fact. And for the super ego, which is represent our morality, our conscience, uh, which is talking about, he tell him that it is morally wrong to kill another person. So the super ego represent the good part in our minds and tell us to avoid making criminal things and doing evil deeds. So evil behavior, what does this picture mean? This is picture represents that uh, how shall I say that? After Macbeth killed the king with the help of his wife, uh, Lady Macbeth, she feels that she is her, it is her responsible in killing the king. She feels guilt. So this picture means that it is a sign of what is a sign of guilt. So, what are the main aims of Macbeth's play? What are uh, the main goals of Macbeth play. What, what Shakespeare want to tell us about 
Macbeth play? What is, what is the concept? What is the benefit of reading Macbeth? Shakespeare and Macbeth Shakespeare try to inform the readers and the audience about the innate power of the mind in choosing good or uh, evil. So, our corruption, evil deeds, all these things arises from our uh, our age, which is the good part of the mind, which is the wildest and darkest part of the mind. However, our morality arises from our super ego, that is the good part of the mind. So, this is a question, does everybody have conscious? There are so many, so many people they ask this question, does everybody have consciousness? When we control our mind and not our mind control us, we become aware of the truth of reality. But due to the differences in knowledge and ignorance, we will differ in consciousness from one to other. So, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy and listening to this, picture, uh, to this lecture. Thanks a lot and I hope you uh, amazing day. Thanks a lot. Shukran.